Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to more of World 8 in uh, New Super Mario Brothers for the Nintendo Wii. As I mentioned last time, I don't intend to finish the game right now because I don't know how long this is gonna take us. In terms of time, and yeah, this is completely dark. I guess I, sh I was supposed to grab this thing as it was falling for me to see the coins and everything, but since there are no enemies, there is technically nothing to worry about, and I have 99 lives. I mean, uh, coins. Money, money. Complete darkness. Yeah, for some reason, I predicted a swimming level in the last world. Same thing happened in a New Super Mario Brothers. But of course, it would have extra difficulty in this time. Some dark cave. When introducing new enemies. Like those fish, specifically, because we have seen this, uh, guys throwing spiky balls in previous areas uh, yeah that was a mistake again even if you don't grab the block you can see pretty much clearly I mean not that clearly but you can see what's going on there is some light surrounding you so how okay, the yellowfish oh yeah you can't see the the coins or the blocks probably that's uh, the main point of grabbing the, one of those uh, blocks with light. Oh, you can kill the yellowfish in this one. Remember yellowfish used to be invincible enemy in uh, Mario 3 at least. Well, that's what I said, the Mario hacks in which they have featured this particular enemy. Okay, I guess this switch is gonna make all of those blocks disappear, exactly. Some bloopers I didn't see, unfortunately. And I'm getting the star, and I'm getting full light now. Because I'm Starman. Oh, there's another one, okay. It's one of those areas, you know, with... Every time you hit a block, you will see... Star. Oh, not necessarily. But in this case, you needed to get rid of the yellowfish for you to go through the pipe and continue on... In the level. Oh, it's gonna become dark, yeah. Okay. I guess by throwing, uh... Fireballs, well, I have very little space, and the fucking uh, stream pushed me back. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Well, I got the item. Is it a good idea to kill the yellowfish? That, those are the my sources of uh, lights, and I am killing them all. I can't see shit. Well, I don't see anything else. Oh well, that was the end anyway. So yeah, if you feel like killing the yellow fish, if you feel safe by doing so, like I did, just don't worry. I thought it would be completely dark and I would end up getting hit by other enemies, but none of that happened. So there are still a couple of levels before playing the airship. Which is the equivalent of another sort of, uh, as I said before, fortress, which makes sense. So we have another scroller. This is gonna be more challenging. Remember, this uh, platforms moved with the moats. When you move the moats, so it's certainly more difficult. I mean, not the fact you have to be moving the thing and avoiding enemies. It's the time that it takes. What makes it? kind of annoying because of the scroller you cannot really go any further by you on your own you have to wait see I'm trying to go fast Sonic fast I can't do much well thank god I have some power-ups I can take a, a couple of hits even but it's not even that complicated to get rid of the ball bombs now I gotta time this uh, fire thing is Oh, that was quick. Pretty simple first half, not gonna lie. And we're gonna do more of this, of course. But now, we're with more lava. Lava dicks. Yeah, it was a matter of time for me to make the sexual joke from it. Oh shit. I'm still dealing with bomb bombs. Wait, what happened to the coin? Did he get it? Oh yeah, when I threw the, the bomb bomb, it touched the coin. Probably that's what you are supposed to do. Remember you can grab coins or the game is gonna consider grabbed 
if you throw a shell or some other enemy to the coin in particular. Oh, the birds. Okay, instead of jumping, I will try to throw fireballs at them because if you jump, uh, you run some certain risks, you know. So I'm gonna try to kill them all with uh, fireballs instead. Oh, well, that was uh, bad luck somehow. Because the, the platform went up exactly when I was throwing the fireballs to those uh, dudes. Also known as birds. Well, three coins already. That was uh, rather simple. This part with the birds is not difficult. I guess I had more trouble avoiding the lava dicks. Oh yeah, I need to make the platform plain. There you go. Short level, despite the old scroller, which makes it annoying and longer than usual. And there is another volcano area from the looks of it before the airship. So let's go play it. Oh well. For some reason I expect a level like this, like lava chasing you from below, it is a cave. Well the power up is uh, perfectly suitable for such a place. But I lost it immediately because I'm dumb. But you can use the springboards anyway, and recover the power up every time you require it. I guess I have a few stored uh, helicopter power ups. Okay, that's what I get for jumping, you know, without looking at the place. Trying to speed run. I make emphasis on the trying word. Remember, this is blind. And I guess I can get that coin if I do some uh, precise wall jumps, which I don't want to do right now, if, as you can tell. But at least I know where it is. I think the most complicated part of uh, trying to get 100%, if you are interested in that, is to know where the coins are. At least I can see where they are, but of course the difficult task is to precisely accomplish that robbing it. Wow, my power was going away. Have to do some Donkey Kong here. Rope swinging. I will wait. I know there is another portable. Oh shit, almost touched me. What am I gonna get from this uh, extra life, I suppose? Not another power up of a different sort. Donkey Kong! I'm gonna do the Donkey Kong and now I'm gonna do the Mario. Perfect combination of video game character skills. Well, that coin is the easiest one. The other one wasn't difficult, probably I needed to do some precise wall jumps. And... Well, since I just got the last coin, this should be the end of the level. Well, that's the easiest one up to get. Yeah, grabbing one ups at this point of the game with 73 lives, god damn it. I mean, why would I even have to worry about such a thing? Seriously. Well, considering that levels have been very short so far, I'm going to be doing the airship before ending the video. Oh, it doesn't have a scroller. So, what is this one about? You have to move some walls and some platforms by doing the speed jump ability on uh, those switches or buttons, whatever. Alright, this coin is too easy. Of course I'm getting it. Cannonballs are really slow, at least the, the little ones. I oh, know, that was uh, really dumb. But in general, you can pretty much... Uh, avoid all of these cannonballs the massive ones because even if there are many well I took a couple of hits already so yeah have to be careful anyway 
Yeah, having some trouble to avoid the big ones. That was close. Well, I didn't time it well. Okay, here we are. So far we haven't taken any hit. Oh, that's basically a platform. You don't even have to rotate it since I was using that power up. I cheated. Or rather, I, I broke it. And now it's a matter of being patient. Oh. And as usual, I basically died at the end of the level. I don't think this is the end of the level anyway. That would be too easy. Yeah. Gonna do more rotation stuff. I don't even see enemies around, so... You can consider that a boss room. Okay. I guess I have to do something with that particular button. Not necessarily, it's just for the money. Well, since I already got the money available, let's grab it, right? Money is there to be obtained. Uh, I'm not going for... that, or... Yeah, I, I had... I thought I didn't have, uh, you know... Or my jump wouldn't be enough for me to get it. Well, I'm not getting the 1-up anyway. Or the other power-up. Yeah, I should be getting another power-up instead of an extra life. Timing. And it even has a... A checkpoint, okay. That was really dumb, not gonna lie. Please give me a power-up. I think I need it right now. Goodbye. Yeah, they apparently give you a time limit for you to do this. How do I grab this coin? I'm curious. Do I have to throw the Mecha Koopa at it? Well, that was really stupid. Alright, this time I'm not gonna do anything to try and get that coin, but I'm curious about how to get it. I suppose you have to be very quick, get the Mecha Koopa and throw it somehow for you to to get a particular coin. Well, if someone knows and wants to tell me through the comments, let me know. Go for it. I don't mind. Ah, oh, it's a new ship. This is the real big clown ship from uh, Mario World. What do I do here? Okay, I have to hit it back with a bomb. It's a very similar battle system uh, to, from Wireland 2 when you are fighting Syrup, the final boss, Captain Syrup. You have to do something similar, of course. Wario has to grab the bomb and throw it back at the ship up there, but this time you have to do the ass attack to make it bounce. And the fire stays there for a while, so yeah, I'm trying to get myself some space. And still took a hit. That was a really simple battle overall. We did it! Hello! And of course... We have to play the generic final castle. Oh, Mario is scared. Poor little thing. So I thought it would be fighting Magic Koopa again. But he ended up fighting Bowser Jr. once again. Well... I thought it would be more set of levels. Another set of levels. But instead we are gonna do Bowser's Castle. We are going to do this uh, next uh, video though. This could take us a while. So yeah, see you later.